Pop quiz. How long has Irish cream liqueur been around? Not Bailey's. Irish cream liqueur. The correct answer is 1973, and Bailey's is, as the label proudly declares, the original. Yeah, it was a trick question, but you probably stopped to think about it. When somebody asked me for a minute, I was wondering if people were drinking the stuff in the 1600s. So yeah, Bailey's. I don't have anything against it, but I've never gotten really excited about it either, probably because it isn't very strong and I'd have to drink a lot of it to feel even a little tipsy. But whether you think it's trash or connected to a Bailey's IV, you must try this recipe for homemade Irish cream liqueur, because it will blow you away. This recipe was given to me by my friend Todd, and there's one thing that makes it unique, and in my opinion, hands down better than any recipe out there. Provenance. It goes back to someone who worked at Gilby's, the drinks company that invented Bailey's, and they worked there in the 1970s, so flavor-wise, it's closer to the original Bailey's than anything else out there. And no, the recipe I'm sharing with you isn't identical to the original. It emits nutmeg and is a bit less chocolatey, but I will wager it's the best you'll ever have, and one of the reasons is, it's stronger. See, Bailey's is 17% ABV, but originally it was 30%. They lowered it to 17% because they thought that would make it more popular with the female market. What do you want? It was the 70s. And for what it's worth, the joke was on them because it was and continues to be a huge hit with men and women. Recipes are easily found online. They're mostly the same, but there are a few details that, when minded, will take this to the next level. Here's what you need. Irish whiskey, condensed milk, and don't use evaporated milk, you want condensed, which is sweetened. Heavy cream, honey, vanilla extract, Cocoa powder, and please use cocoa powder. A lot of recipes use chocolate syrup, but this will mess up the texture and sweetness of your finished product. You want the flavor of chocolate, but not the added sweetness. And lastly, instant coffee, and as you can see, it doesn't have to be fancy. Some recipes use coffee or espresso, use instant coffee. If you have a half gallon jar, you can add everything to it and shake the hell out of it until incorporated, but I got this fancy stick blender on Black Friday and I'm itching to break it in. Also, if you're going to go to the trouble to assemble the ingredients, you may as well double or triple the recipe, because a bottle of homemade Irish cream liqueur makes a bangin' Christmas present. Here's how you make this. Start by adding two 14 ounce or 415 ml cans of condensed milk to a container that holds at least half a gallon. Next, add half a cup or 120 ml of heavy cream, three tablespoons or 45 ml of honey, or if you prefer agave nectar, the same volume of vanilla extract, two tablespoons or 12 grams of cocoa powder, and two packets of instant coffee, and feel free to mock me for leaving my phone in the shot. Finally, add an entire 750 ml bottle of Irish whiskey. And look at it go. Just beautiful and blend until thoroughly incorporated. Now, if you want a less sweet version of this, you can sub one can of condensed milk for evaporated, but whatever you do, do not sub both cans for evaporated. The sweetness of the condensed milk is an essential flavor component to this drink, and attempting some sort of skinny version will ruin it entirely. All that said, I recommend two cans of condensed. You're worth it. Bottle, refrigerate, and serve over ice. Beautiful. I'm pouring two because I have a special guest with me here today. My friend Todd is here and we're gonna talk about this as soon as I find a place to put this tiki Christmas tree. Todd, cheers. Cheers. Thanks for being here, man. Thanks for having me. Mm -hmm. oh, this is so good. I have questions. I have answers. Can this be made vegan? You can make anything vegan. Obviously it has cream in it, which you can switch out for like an almond milk. The big key is the condensed milk. It's never gonna be as thick and creamy. You have to find a vegan condensed milk or some sort of a substitute. So I mentioned ABV in the video. Could you make this stronger or weaker according to your preference? Absolutely. The nice thing about doing a recipe from scratch like this is you really have full control. This is uh, right in a sweet spot for me. You can always add more. I would say though, if you're experimenting at home with it, don't just go nuts and double the alcohol because that is, that's not gonna balance right. But yeah, you can add more or less depending on taste, depending on how much alcohol you want. Some people think this is too strong. Um, those people are wrong. Agreed. Whenever I get a recipe, I immediately start to think how I can make it better by adding something like a premium spirit or yep. other ingredient. If you put something in this, like red breast, for example, will it make it better? I, I See, I'm the same mindset as you. And I thought the same thing, like, oh, I, I'm gonna up the game on this and putting something high in. And, and in fact, I tried it with really, some really, really nice Irish whiskey. And then I actually tried it with bourbon. I've tried it with rye. I've tried all different iterations. Really expensive stuff, really cheap stuff. I found that the really expensive stuff did nothing for it. Like, it did not improve it at all. In fact, it, it sort of knocked it out of balance because there's, I think, almost too much extra flavor in some of the, the higher end things. Are, there's, they're so unique in some cases. Hmm. And I felt that 
sticking with the, the Jameson really kept its balance for me. In fact, it's it's interesting because my friend who is, she is a, a whis whiskey expert. She was in Ireland with a, one of her companies she works for and she was actually having lunch with a man that worked at Gilby's in the 70s and he claims Jameson is what they grabbed up the shelf. The first iteration. Really? Yeah, because remember when they were making it, they, they were in a lab and they walked down the street to the little local shop and they grabbed some cream and grabbed some you know powdered cocoa and they just uh, grabbed stuff and they just grabbed the Jameson off the shelf and said, let's do, and that was, that's how the story goes now. Wow. I wasn't there, but that's, uh, as far as I know, that that is uh, true to fact. So how long will this last in the fridge? I always think it'll last at least like a month and a half if it'll last longer than four days in your house. It's not gonna last longer than four days in my house. No. Yeah, this is amazing. You absolutely should do it at home. And if you do, uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Todd, would you be kind enough to see us out? Yes, absolutely. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Post all the things down there. Bells, whistles, all of them. Hearts, send emojis, virtual hugs, whatever it takes. Follow this man, learn how to make these, and enjoy life. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna finish that. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. That was good. Totally giving you negative reviews for this. <laughs>